All right, hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, thank you for joining me today. Please subscribe to this channel, and then you can get all of the notifications because I have 12 videos coming up and it's great to be notified. You don't have to come hunt me down, <laughs> which is a good thing, right? So I wanna talk about the month of October for each zodiac sign, but here's the preface I'm gonna put in front of each video, okay? Right off the bat, the month of October, we have, it starts right out with Mercury is still retrograde in the sign of Libra. So with it retrograde in Libra, and it has been since September 17th, um, the energy of this is represented that we're looking for peace, we're looking for harmony, we're looking for balance in our communications with others. And so this is very important for us to really find that in our lives. And, you know, when the Mercury, when Mercury is retrograde, sometimes we're being made aware of how things are out of balance, especially in the sign of Libra. So keep that in mind, and I'll tell you what house that's in for each zodiac sign when I get to the details coming up next. Mercury, Mercury is in Libra, but we have the Sun, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter all in the sign of Virgo. So I'm going to focus on that in these video rec recordings here. There's a ton of stuff in October happening, but I'm going to really focus on the Virgo energy for the most of October. All right, and that means... Virgo is all about service to others. It's also about our daily living, our daily health, how we take care of ourselves. I mean, a regular routine of things that we do. It's our work, the work that we go to every day, our co-workers. It's, you know, and it's getting back and forth. And Mercury is the ruler of Virgo as well as Gemini. And with it being retrograde for the beginning of the month and just in a shadow phase for most of the rest of the month of October, you know, communications and paying attention to the details are going to be very important for every single one of us, no matter what your zodiac sign. It just depends on what your zodiac sign is and how you respond to Virgo energy as to how you will um, work with the month of October. All right. So let me get on to that. And thank you for watching. Again, please subscribe and come to my website as well. There's little boxes. Oh, I probably put them over here. Where is it? There we go. I'll probably put them right over there where you can click right into my website. Thank you for watching. And um, all right, hang on because you're next. All right, Pisces, this one's for you. So we started off the month of October, like I mentioned a minute ago, with Mercury retrograde in the sign of Libra. Now that started September 17th, goes all the way through October 9th. And give it a week on either side to really stop feeling the tension of this. Um, you know, this Mercury in Libra is, is about being a very, a, quite the diplomat, great in conversation, talking to people. Uh, some people can be quite the liars with this energy though too. So we have to be careful of that, lying and deception. Especially for you guys because uh, with Pisces rising, because first off Pisces is rising in your chart. And if you have that, you're more susceptible to people just kind of trying to pull the wool over your eyes. It's just the way it is. I'm not saying it's you. It's just the way it is, the energy of Pisces rising. And when we have Mercury, the planet of communication, retrograde in Libra, that tends, in the eighth house is where it is for you, that tends to mean that there is something, a secret being, um, something's going on behind the scenes for you whether you're doing it or it's being done to you. Something's going on behind the scenes. And once Mercury gets moving forward again, you might find out during the retrograde of Mercury. But if you don't, once Mercury gets moving forward after October 9th, it's just going to start moving forward. You'll be able to see and understand um, pretty much what's, what's been going on behind the scenes. This could be good or bad. You know, it's, hard to, it's kind of hard to say. But there's something very secretive going on right now. At least... Um, in October, so early part of September and part of October. But the eclipses in September could have, could have already revealed to you what that is. And this retrograde of Mercury in the sector could easily just be an opportunity for you to just process and think things through and put things in their proper space. Because those eclipses would be pretty strong and they are really, really good at uh, revealing secrets. Uh, I want to move on to the Virgo energy that's part of your chart too. And that Virgo energy where all these um, is what I'm focusing on this month because there's a ton of other stuff. So if you want to know more, you're just going to have to come and schedule your own appointment at my website. Um, but that Virgo energy is all in your seventh house of relationships and partnerships. Now with Mercury in Libra, the sign of the relationships and partnerships, this just tells me that, you know, you might be in the in the process of, making sure a relationship is what you want it to be all right and you can be taking the relationship to another level feeling better 
you know, about, you know, having communication with somebody, a partner, and just realizing that you, you can actually feel very comfortable and you're very open with them. Now, of course, the other side of that coin is that you could be, secrets could be revealed of what's going on behind your back. So let's do each planet separately. Venus moving into that sector for you, Pisces, into your seventh house um, is definitely... Um, backwards okay with Virgo moving <laughs> with all that Virgo energy and all those planets in your seventh house you know the energy of that is is this so Venus in the seventh house is is love and what you value and the relationships that you have and it's going it's showing you what it is that you value and how it is so important for you to have that relationship connection on a daily basis that's Venus in Virgo in your seventh house okay and then next we have Mars in Virgo in your seventh house. So that means there's a lot of activity. If you're a single person, you may be dating a lot of people. If you're married, you know, you're feeling a lot of energy and, and or anxiety about the relationship that you need to address something. Or if you're dating a lot, you know, it uses, Mars uses that energy that way as well. And with Jupiter in that seventh house, that just means that Jupiter is there to, to smooth things over. He's your, you know, your happy uncle. He's going to make everything right no matter what. And so with Jupiter in that sector, and it will be in that sector for a whole year, whatever relationship issues you might be having, this will smooth them out and make things all better. It really is a fabulous place to have Jupiter. Jupiter is a great place. Wherever it is, it's a fabulous thing. But with it in your seventh house and all the other things that are going on with the Libra energy and relationships, this is a wonderful place to have it considering some stresses that could be present in your life. Now, you know what, if you're somebody who's planning on getting married and you've been working on this for a while, the energy of Jupiter and, and Venus and Mars in that sector, you know how weddings are, I mean they just take tons and tons and tons of planning and it just goes on and on and on and on and that could very well be doing this. When Jupiter moves that sector, people will commit to each other and get married. Now, Outside of the intimate relationships, the seventh house also represents business partnerships. And so these are ample opportunities here with these three planets. And throughout the month, they connect with each other. So that just makes them stronger. And they all will connect with Pluto at a trine aspect. So that makes things even stronger as far as um, commitment, taking control, and feeling like your relationships and your partnerships feeling like they're strong and you have them under control. So this is a great opportunity for you to work on anything in regards to relationships and partnerships in the month of October. Just um, be that quiet observer for a little while while Mercury is retrograde and after October 9th then you can start acting and uh, moving in whatever direction you see fit. The new moon full moon forecast, like I mentioned earlier, are separate videos, so subscribe to this channel and you will be informed when they're up. All right, come to my website, nhastrologer.com, for your own private sessions, because there is a ton more here. I just can't talk about all of it today. Thank you very much. Blessed be, and namaste. Okay, just a quick final note. I am going to be doing a video blog pretty soon, and I would love your questions so I can do a question and answer video. It will be going mostly uh, straight, I pretty much I'm going to do it straight through my YouTube channel, not my YouTube channel, through my Facebook channel. So um, send me your questions. I'm not going to be doing personal readings and personal charts. Like I've got this blah, 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 blah. But just basic questions. It's going to be very educational, fun, and light and airy. So send me your questions. And I would love to uh, include your questions in my video blog. Thank you.